Hey guys, Ben here of Passive Income Unlocked. We've put out quite a few videos up to this point, but one topic that we haven't touched on yet is choosing a domain name. While picking a domain name isn't the first step in building a site, it does come pretty early in the process. So in this video, I'm going to tell you why having a good domain name is important. I'll also go over what to consider when picking one, then show you a couple of tools that can help you find a good one. First, how important is a domain name? In my opinion, the domain name is pretty important, more so than many people will lead you to believe. It's not really the name itself that's super important though. Instead, it's the growth potential that that name ties to you. As you've heard us say many times in the past, go broad. That means when selecting the domain name, make sure it gives you plenty of room to grow over time. For example, if you have a lawn mowing repair service, instead of coming up with a domain name that's specifically related to repairing lawn mowers, go with something broader that includes lawn mowing in general. Better yet, go broader and come up with something that covers related services like landscaping or leaf removal, or for that matter, even snow blowing. Going broad enough to not put yourself in a corner is the main thing to keep in mind when selecting domain name. Aside from that, the domain name itself isn't super important. However, you still want to take some time to try and come up with something decent. With that being said, here are a few more things to consider when picking a domain name for your next site. First, keep it short and simple. Having a short, memorable domain name is ideal for many reasons. For one, it's easier to type for direct visitors, and two, it's more brandable. Coming up with a domain name that can be a brand might not be on your radar early on, but again, think long term and don't put yourself in a corner. Try to come up with something brandable, so if your site does really grow over time, you can do more with it, including getting a higher return if you decide to sell it. Another simple tip when selecting a domain name is to stick with the standards. What I mean is, use .com as your top level domain. Don't include things like numbers or hyphens. Doing these things will help you get a higher click through as a help with credibility. Now along the same lines as going broad, like I mentioned earlier, make sure not to tie a specific location to your domain name. Putting a location in your domain name or using a local top level domain will instantly limit the amount of potential traffic you can get. One more tip before I go over some tools to find a good domain name, and that is to not overthink it. There are so many good domain names that are taken now that it can be really hard to come up with a good one, let alone a unique one. Just do your best to come up with something that makes sense and checks the previous boxes I went over, and you should be good to go. So next, I'm going to go over a few tools you can use to help you come up with a good domain name. All right, for these examples, let's say you're trying to come up with a domain name around skiing. The first place you can go to come up with ideas for a domain name is relatedwords.org. When you enter ski into the search bar, you'll see a bunch of words related to it. This is actually a really good way to find words that can broaden your niche and even your domain name. For ski, you'll see some broader related words like downhill, backcountry, and slopes. These are types of words that you can use in your domain name instead of skiing that will help broaden it for future growth. As you find some words that you like, you can click on them and see more related words as well. For instance, instead of ski, I don't know, let's click skiing, click related words, and it'll bring up more search results. From here, what you can do is write down each word that you like on a piece of paper or a spreadsheet, so you come back to them later. Next, let's head over to the theosaurus.com. Your goal at this site is to come up with a good word to pair with one of the words you've already found. For example, let's enter the word expert and see what comes up. So here you have some more synonyms for the word expert, like skillful, trained, experienced, so on and so forth. You can also try other words like information. And here you have more results like advice, knowledge, tip, scoop. Again, simply write down the words that you like. Once you have a nice list from both relatedwords.org and theosaurus.com, look at your list to see if any combinations make sense. Once you find some that you like, head over to godaddy.com and start testing them out to see if there are any available. We'll try a few words that you could have easily come up with using relatedwords.org or theosaurus.com to see if they're available. Start, let's try uh, backcountrymaster.com. Let's 
So that domain name is available. Switch that to uh, expert instead of master. That domain is taken, so that will not work. Um, another one for show. Let's try uh, downhillmaster.com. As you can see, that one is available. And then one more for show, downhillexpert.com. And as you can see, that one is also available. Now before you move forward with the perfect domain name that you just found, you'll want to check a few things first. First, check to make sure that the name isn't trademarked or registered in your state or country. These steps will be different depending on where you live, so simply do a Google search to see how to check them. Speaking of Google, it is always a good idea to enter the name in the Google search to see what comes up. That will probably tell you if another site is already using something very close to it, in which case it's probably better to find something different. Finally, you might want to make sure you can secure any accounts that you consider using that are related to that name. For instance, an email or a Pinterest or Facebook account. Once you've passed all these simple checks, you are good to go. Alright guys, that's it for this one. Picking a domain name can seem overwhelming, but if you break it down, it's not that bad. Use the tips and tricks in this video and come up with something broad that works well for your niche. Good luck and until the next video.